The types of owner-based retailing are independent retail, chain stores, franchises, consumer and cooperative stores. Independent retailers, they own and run a single shop and determine their policies independently. Their family members can help in business and the ownership of the unit can be passed from one generation to the next. The biggest advantage is they can build personal rapport with consumers very easily. Examples are standalone groceries, flower shops, bookstores, and coffee shops. Chain stores. When multiple outlets are under common ownership, it is called a chain store. Chain stores offer and keep similar merchandise. They are spread all over regions and cities. The advantage is the stores can keep selected merchandise according to the consumer's preference in a particular area. Examples are Wilcon Depot, National Bookstore, and Mercury Drug. Franchises These are stores that run businesses under an established brand name and licensed to practice a particular business format based on the agreement between the franchisor and a franchisee. Franchising refers to the method of practicing and using a perfected business concept of another company. In a franchise relationship, the franchisee is granted the right to market a product or a service under a marketing plan or a system that uses the trademark, logo, and advertising owned by a franchisor. Consumer Cooperative Stores These are businesses owned and run by consumers with the aim of providing essentials at reasonable cost as compared to market rates. They have to be contemporary with the current business and political policies to keep the business healthy. Examples are the Puget Consumers Food Cooperative in the United States, Dublin Food Cooperative in Ireland, and in the Philippines, the Philippine Army Finance Center Producers Integrated Cooperative.